This short video introduces you to 2D truss analysis in multi-frame. Let's start by using the generate command to generate a wiring truss. We'll make it 10 meters long, 1 meter high, and we'll use a 2 meter bay width and 5 bays along the length of the truss. That gives us our basic geometry. From there we can select the node at the left hand end and give it a pinned restraint and the node at the right hand end and give that a roller restraint. We also need to set the section types so we can choose the top and bottom cords and from the library we can choose the section command and I'm going to choose a channel section which I'll pick here a 10 inch channel. We're using the US library for this example. I can also select the bracing members and again from the library I can go to the angle group this time, scroll through the list of available sections and then pick an angle that I'd like to use. Also for those sloping members I want to have a moment release from the member to the top and bottom cords so I'll use the command to release the moments by putting pins at the ends of those members. Finally I want to set the member orientation so I can choose the top cord and the member orientation command I can use to graphically or numerically set the orientation of the member and for the bottom cord I'm going to do the same thing. I'm using member orientation but I'm just going in the opposite direction. So let's switch to 3D view and just verify the orientation and sizes of our sections and members. That looks good. Now we can move over to the load window and start to apply some loads. I can pick the node at mid-span and I'm going to apply a point load to that. I'm going to apply 20 kilonewtons at mid-span and then I'm going to add a second loading condition or a second load case, load case 2. And this time I'm just going to apply some smaller point loads at a number of nodes and uh, the two end nodes I'll put a point load of say 2.5. Then I can carry out my analysis. I'm just doing a basic linear analysis here and then in the plot window I can see the results. I can see the bending moments in my top and bottom cords as well as the shear forces in top and bottom cords. I can look at axial forces in the bracing members and if I switch to a 3D view uh, we can see also the axial forces and the members that have been rotated through 90 degrees. I can turn on the numerical display there and the C and T suffix tells us which members are in compression or tension. If I go back to my moment diagram I can double click on any member, for example a top cord. I can drag my mouse along the length of the top cord and get the values of all of my moments, shears, deflections and forces all the way along that member. If I'm looking at a deflected shape I can use the rendering command to see how the structure deforms and also the color overlay can be used to distinguish between the relative force magnitudes between the different load cases. We see we have a larger deflection and uh, axial force on load case 1 compared to load case 2. That completes our basic 2D truss analysis. Thank you for watching.